Experts say Yellowstone's volcanic activity is on the rise, but will it erupt anytime soon? Yellowstone National Park, known for erupting geysers like Old Faithful, is home to one of the largest volcanic systems on Earth, capable of wreaking havoc across continents. And experts say components of the so-called supervolcano are on the move. A new study published in Nature suggests that Yellowstone's magma and other superheated components have shifted northeast of the park's vast caldera, a giant volcanic crater that formed naturally hundreds of thousands of years ago. But Americans shouldn't panic about waking up under a blanket of molten ash anytime soon. Lead author Nifna Bennington, a geophysicist at the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, told the Washington Post. There's no single area of Yellowstone that could erupt, the magma expert explained. In other words, it won't be a problem in our lifetimes. There will be an eruption, but it will probably be thousands of years before we can expect one. Eric Clemente Gonzalez, a professor of Earth and Planetary Sciences at Denison University who was not involved in the study, added. He believes the shift is the result of the gradual southwestward movement of the North American tectonic plate, extending into northern Canada and into southern Mexico. Yellowstone's last eruption was 70,000 years ago according to the U.S. Geological Survey. That was a drop in the bucket compared to three very large explosive eruptions, large enough to fill the Grand Canyon with lava and ash in the past two million years. Bennington added that the new findings are unlikely to affect the park's outdoor experience. Geologists also reported in June that Washington's Mount St. Helens is entering a recharge phase as its magma begins to repressurize. In late December, Hawaii's Kilauea volcano, one of the world's most active volcanoes, began erupting again. The Yellowstone caldera was formed more than 600,000 years ago from the eruption of the Lava Creek Tuff, which is measured on the Volcanic Explosivity Index as an 8, according to the U.S. Geological Survey, the highest rung on the scale. By comparison, the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens was a level 4. It was known as a super eruption because of its size. It ejected enough volcanic material to create a caldera 30 by 40 miles wide. The National Park Service says the eruption covered an area the size of Rhode Island. The USGS says the eruption spread ash and material as far as 1,000 miles, reaching what is now Southern California and Louisiana. 